Good morning. I'm Jill Gatsby reporting live from my uh, beautiful little uh, whatever you call this room. And this is Pascal Twitty Twine. Yeah, she's kind of like in between the bedroom, the hallway, and the living room. She can't make up her mind what anything is. She keeps moving everything around. Um, Pascal uses me as a ventriloquist. He throws his voice into me on a regular basis. And uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. Some people... You know, some people channel, you know, spiritual beings. I channel Pascal, you know. Yeah, and she channels planet Earth. I do? Yeah, you idiot. You're Earth personal dummy. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for telling me I'm, telling me I'm an idiot for everybody, you know. I'm not, I'm not doing this, Jill. I, didn't, I did not sign a release for this. I'm not, I'm not even going to interact with you. She see this? He's, he's, he's so demure. You see what happens? You see what I'm talking about? This is what I put up with in my life. You know, I feed you... You, you know how many surgeries I've paid for? Oh, wow. Throw that in my face. Oh, Pascal, I love you. I'm sorry. You're trying to exploit me. I'm not. I don't want to exploit you. I love you, Pascal. I let the world to know how sweet and tender and velvety you are. Well, I am. I'm really, 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 really velvety. Are you, Pascal? Yeah, I'm really, and I'm really relaxed. I'm like, the most, I'm like so calm. If, I, if you hold me here too long, I might fall asleep. In this position. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, see, there's a big yawn. So anyways, good morning. And I'm Jill Gatsby. And I just want you to know something. If you think I look like crap, that's okay with me. Because you know what? I'm 84 years old. What do you think of that? That's right. 84 years old. Yeah, and I didn't do any plastic surgery. And I do have a secret to being ageless. Look at that. 84 years old. Look at that. That's right. I'm 84 years old. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a little dyslexic, but it doesn't matter. The point is, always lie up, ladies. Always lie up, because for 84, you got to admit, I look amazing. I mean, come on. 84? I don't even have to brush my hair this morning. See? 84? Look at that. I don't even have a stylist. You know what I'm saying? 84. If I'm 84, look how great I look. You know what I'm saying? Just go look in the mirror right now and just say to yourself, I'm 84. And if you are 84, well, it might be time to lie down. No, never lie down. Did you see the lady? She's 90 years old. That woman was at 90. She was lying down about it. She's actually 97. Yeah, 97. She's almost 100 years old. She's on the parallel bars doing her act. You know what I'm saying? By the way, my other name is Misinformation. If you, if you listen to me long enough, you'll get it first and you'll get it wrong. That's what I specialize in. Yeah, yeah, that's why she's Earth's personal dummy. Hey, I'm Earth's personal dummy because I'm trying to save the world, and she thinks I'm an idiot for doing that. Well, you are. It's too late for all of us. As you see, I've resigned. I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, well, you see, this is what I deal with. This is the encouragement that I get on a daily basis. Anyways, as I was saying... I've decided to tell the world I'm 84 years old because it feels very good. You know, I, all the judgment on myself is gone now. You know, I have no more judgment. For, for, for 84, I think I look pretty hot. Yeah. 84, I'd sleep with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, anyways, well, I, I do. Hey, Pascal. Oh, I'm velvety. Pascal. Pascal, be a nice dog. You're on national, international web. You know, there's like probably two people are going to see this. You know what I'm saying, Pascal? Oh, uh, yeah. The whole world's going to know about it. They're all going to know how velvety I am. Yes, they are. And then, you know what? That's going to be it. There's going to be an outbreak of people running out trying to buy little Italian greyhounds. Don't do it! We pee a lot. We really, really urinate. Yeah. More than you'd expect. Yeah, and you wouldn't believe the other end. I'm going to tell you something. If you want one of these, just remember... After as little as they are, all their little crap adds up to a lot of stuff. You know, it's a long time. Yeah, I think we'll video in. We can just do that. We can video in all the crap building up. All the pa If we saved all your poop, Pascal, it would fill two containers downstairs. You know, Mom, this is what I call TMI. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. Well, folks... Now that you've got to uh, meet me up close and personal, yes, I am a jackass, and I am the writer of A Murder in Beverly Hills. Yes, my aunt was uh, done in uh, five years ago, coming up. So when you can't fix things, you make jokes about them. Or you write a book about it. You know, for 84 years old, I, look, I got a mustache. 
you know, who cares? I'm 84. I look great. I'm not waxing anymore. I've decided to just go full nature. That's right. That's why you want to read my book because you want me to be a successful writer. You want me to be because you don't want to have to see me on the Internet. Look at this. You're like, oh, my God, the girl needs to get her, like, upper brow wax. Oh, my God, she's got reflective glasses, you know. You, you people, trust me, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Get the book, you know. Keep me as a writer. Look at this. I rub my nose in public. It's terrible. Yeah, I mean, really, I don't know how I ended up with this lady. You know, um, I'm very classy. You, you really are, Pascal. You're a class act. Yeah, well, you know what? You need a stylist. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go take a shower and um, try to style myself, and I'll be back. All right. Have a nice day, everybody. Peace out. Love, man. Love from the hippie with the mustache.